Jen, and this is a touch of tarot. This is a really interesting message coming out in regards to the Divine Masculine. For those of you in the collective Twin Flame energy, I was looking up the planetary overview for what's coming in May. And I will say um, from May to June is going to be an eclipse. You know, we have the lunar eclipse in May and then in June, the solar eclipse. It always happens about two weeks after, I believe. There's also going to be a Saturn return. Um, I also, or is it, sorry, Saturn ret in retrograde, I want to say, let me, I don't know, I lost that part, but there's also going to be a retrograde, so Mercury in retrograde on May 29th, Saturn in retrograde on May 23rd, so look out how that's going to be affecting you, but the point being, I was asking what's going to be coming in, and it's really interesting because the first card we have, um, the bright blue card, is the singer of courage. And this has to do with dropping. Uh, it's not really actually about dropping fear. It's like using your fear to be courageous, to not let it hold you back, to continue to move forward and go for what you want. In the middle with this little creature holding the two balls, this card is indie. And indie has to do with indecision and wishy-washiness about commitment. It's time to make a decision. And the last card is himself. So there we go. The divine ma masculine is finally going to make a courageous move and be brave and make a decision instead of weighing things out um, continually, going up and down with what they want. They're going to connect to themselves come May and go for the divine feminine, be honest with you, right? And actually honest was the next card I had saw. Anyhow, let's dig into this. I pulled out the new deck from Sandra. Thank you so much. We all appreciate new decks on here. And if you'd like to check out my wish list, you can. Don't have to, don't worry. Okay, wow, this already fell on the floor. So is deck in reverse? No, Knight of Wands coming in reverse. So the first message I get with this is about someone facing their fears and stopping with the up and down, stopping with the roller coaster and taking full control. Um, I do feel that this person may have felt courageous in general and felt like, you know, they do what they want. They go for what they want. But when it came to making a decision about the divine feminine, this person was wishy-washy, says so themselves right here, and coming in and out with their decisions, right? And now this person's like, grab the bull by the horn. And that's that. Oh, see, we do have the eight of cups at the bottom. I do feel like this person was coming in and out. Um, but I mean, in reverse, there's no more of that. It's actually taking control, taking their power back, facing their fears and being courageous enough to stick to that. Okay. Yeah. Taking their power back. We have the magician so it really is just about this person coming in and knowing that they can have everything they want. You may be dealing with someone who's very psychic, who's very wise. Um, this may have given this person that fear, right? Because maybe they knew deep down inside they wanted to be somewhere else or there was something more powerful to be involved in and they were just too scared to go for it, okay? So tell us about the wishy-washy behavior with the King of Swords. Wow. So this person is totally getting out of that wishy-washy behavior. We have that at the bottom. And when I see things at the bottom, it's often what it's coming out of. This person is finally ready to go for their truth, to face their truth, to be their self. There's no power in going up and down. Even if you make the wrong decision, sticking to a decision is um, where you get your power and making the best of it, right? This person is really coming in, really communicating, really coming to um, some internal knowledge. You know, you might be dealing with someone bald, but I feel that this is more representing, it's like a dome, like a beam of light out to the world like or sucking it in sucking the energies in sucking the knowledge in right that's really interesting I do think this person had a period of rest and they really um thought about what they truly wanted okay so let's see what we're getting here what else we're getting flipping over um, the emperor for being themselves I mean and the emperor was actually coming out with the death card but this person is letting go 
Um, they're shedding their skin. They're coming out of this fear-based energy and really taking their power and shining here. This is huge, guys. I'm seeing the star card and the nine of cups. This person is feeling great now once they go and become themselves and face their truth, okay, and be honest, speak their truth as well. And that is exactly what's going to happen. It's really interesting that like this person may have been um, even going up and down with their truths, like one day they liked you and one day they were making excuses. And now there's a real power here, like their Adam Apple is highlighted. They are going to be strong, courageous, honest, and truth speaking. Okay, this person is really shining now. So what caused this? Let's see what, what really like... Maybe it was the planets, you know? Well, I'll tell you what caused this. This is interesting. So this person had a period where they were basically ignoring um, their destiny, or should we say destiny, like what they were fated to do and where they were fated to be. But instead, they may have been trying to control the planets. It could really be the planets that are pushing this person with this sun card here, holding all the planets at the bottom. Um, but more so... What this tells me, the nine of wands in this deck, it's very memorable for the description. It has to be with some, has to do with someone. Look at this. We're going to connect these right now. Someone taking off their armor. So we have this knight of wands. This is the nine of wands. All fully armored, right? And now he's relaxed because he doesn't have to keep on fighting and going up and down or in and out. He's made a choice, but he's still on guard. You know, he hasn't taken off every piece of armor yet. He's just waiting for something to happen. So this person was going through a period where they slowly but surely were dropping their guard, dropping their um, armor, and releasing people. And it's interesting because we had the Four of Cups at, or the Four of Swords at the bottom, but that's over. That resting period is over with these four swords here. This person has unbound themselves from that energy. I don't know how well the camera is picking this up. This camera is tricky. But here we go again with that King of Swords energy ready to go for what they want. And this is really about this person coming to terms with their truth, maybe even expressing that to other people that were um, in some ways blocking them, you know, blocking this person. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. Yeah. It could be the planetary influences, but I just feel that this person had this period of really thinking and dropping their guard slowly, but surely. Okay. It's like the next step would be to walk up those steps. So let's just see where this is going. So this is interesting, right? This person was really lying to themselves about matters of the heart. Why? We can ask if I remember, but what I really see is this person, um, they just were digging themselves a deeper hole by not being honest. So they've walked away from that energy. Something may have happened. Um, to bring them down. Like, you know, did something happen? Let's see. Did something happen? The moon card, you know, what I get from that with the three of pentacles, is just that they couldn't, they couldn't deny it. Oh my God. The sun card again. They couldn't deny it. If anything, the planets are working in favor of this situation and pushing this person towards you. But notice how it's not really talking about that just yet. Like I'm picking up that message from the cards of this person coming forward to be themselves, but it's not necessarily saying anything about you, the viewer. It's actually literally telling you what your person's been going through. This person could not get you or this connection out of their mind. You may be different, but you're still the same is what I get here with these two um canines like we have the dog and we have the coyote but they're from the same family technically well it could just be that you're both humans obviously um but you could literally be from totally different parts of the world anyhow this person could not ignore it 
it's, it's really interesting because we have this cylinder here and the cylinder here. Like, no matter what this person did to try and get things off of their mind, because these are the symbols that were on the King of Swords mind, or head, I should say, bald head, um, they couldn't. It was, like, right in front of them. This person was very mechanical when it came to love. This person may have came in, um, made love to you and left. Like, you know, they may have not really connected um, truly to themselves in the past. Okay, so let's see if we can get any energy of the Divine Feminine here. Because right now it's just telling you what happened here. But we'll see what wants to come out. Let's pull three cards. Okay, so the only message I'm getting when it comes to, you know, all I know is this, is something happened here and your person walked away from probably another situation. Um, something could have happened with their foundation. It could just be mentally they had a breakthrough, but this person did, look, at here's those steps. Here's the steps that I'm talking about that this person had to climb. Um, so this person had to go up those steps and now they're coming towards you. This is the full moon. So something may happen uh, around May. I believe I mentioned that we have the lunar eclipse. I could just check that out quickly. Um, Venus is entering Gemini in June. Anyhow, the new moon in Taurus is May 11th, but that is not okay. And the full moon is May 26th. So, this may happen around May 26th because I am technically looking at what is coming in for me. That's what I was checking online. And I feel like this person, the chariot energy, once they get up there, it's like they have to go to the top level of the parking and get their Ferrari, you know, or whatever it is they're driving here with this strong horsepower. And this is a chariot that's definitely in motion. There is nothing holding it back. And this person is even going through the water. So it's like they're racing to get to some sort of an emotional um, connection or like reward. And even here, it almost looks like the tower, but it's been reformed. It's been shaped differently, but it literally looks like like the skeleton of the tower, like the shell has come off and now everything is out in the open and ready to be um, acknowledged and and seen, right? So this person may be leaving. Um, uh, well, I'm not going to get into that, but I just see the star at the bottom. So it could be the ending of one wish that they had or one situation um, because it is at the bottom. So where's this person going? Let's see what's coming up here. To temperance. So when I see, you know, the king of cups at the bottom, um, and just this temperance energy, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, definitely very feminine, uh, very symbolic of the DFs on here. Look at the rainbow. This woman has gone through a lot. This woman is also focusing on this flame energy, which is interesting. So um, if anything, this person is coming towards the love of their life. But let's clarify more about this temperance. It's someone who's also healed, who's also very um, powerful, strong, someone who they, I'm hearing, severely desire. And I never noticed in this four of swords, for some reason, I thought it was a woman when I just had saw it before, but it definitely is a masculine here. Um, I feel like while this person was going through this pause, like I said, they just definitely could not get you out of their mind. Look at that. We have the page of swords and the ace of, page of cups and the ace of cups underneath, you know? So this person's thinking of you. This person wants to come towards you. And not only that, this person is very much so desiring the divine feminine. I mean, that cannot be any more clear. So this is the reading. I'm actually going to continue it on um, Patreon, but this is pretty much about the masculine. So I think we leave it here. However, it's ended with this message that this person wants to come towards the divine feminine. It might turn into like a, a X-rated reading and that's why i'm going to shut it down here guys but this is a huge message um let's just get one more card for you let's see what we get here and we'll also get into this more um 
friction. Okay. So I do believe that this is what this person was going through and this is what they're leaving. I'm seeing that they're revising that. And let's get one more because we will clarify what the friction is and then magnetism. So I think this person was fighting what they truly desired. Um, maybe they were worried. Maybe they were had past patterns that kind of terrified them, but the friction is over. Now this person can move forward to what it is that they desire. Okay. And I will pull one card from here that I will also clarify in the extended. Let's see. Free yourself. See, this person has freed themselves from another situation or from some sort of restrictive friction um, thoughts, you know, something holding them back. This person's coming in. I'm seeing the reconciliation here. And I mean, Look forward to a new beginning with this person. Okay, I just cut the deck to see. Okay, guys, so we're going to clarify this stuff in the um, extended. More important, I can't wait to get into this section of this. Like, this person is clearly desiring the divine feminine, right? Bye for now, guys. Bye for now.